Okay, digital movie posters. I tried searching YouTube and the internet for easy ways to make a digital movie poster for TV, and everything I found was more complicated, required special software, and um, it just it wasn't that easy. I don't really care for it to be synced up to a movie playing, although that would be cool, but I wanted to keep it simple. So I found a couple ways. Um, one of them was with a Chromecast. If you guys have Chromecast, you know that it usually has some type of artwork when it's not streaming anything. If you go to your settings, you could change that artwork to a Google album. The only problem with that is that you do have to do it from your computer, rotate it from the side. So you can download the image, rotate it on its side, a specific side, I don't remember which one, and then um, drop it into an album that you made. But then that's all you got to do, and then it shows up. Uh, but the problem with that is that it seems to repeat a lot of the posters, and it never goes all the way through, so you miss a lot of stuff. So the next easiest option that I found was to buy a uh, PC stick. If you guys don't know what a PC stick is, it's that dongle right there. It has HDMI that plugs right in, and it actually runs Windows. This one, I think, is Windows 10. And um, I like that idea because what you can do instead of having to rotate your images is that you can go to the display settings and actually rotate your monitor and then leave your images the same. Um, as far as mounting the TV, uh, you don't have to buy a special mount. This is a hand-me-down TV that I got. It's an OLED TV, and it came with an old full-motion bracket. So I mounted the bracket onto the wall, and then the the bracket that mounts behind the TV, I left that the same way, but then I rotated the TV and then adjusted the arms that go onto the TV, bolted it to the TV, and then mounted it that way. And it holds. It doesn't rotate. It doesn't do anything. So that worked out perfect. So then once, uh, once you log in to Windows, I would suggest plugging into a regular TV first so you can change the display settings to um, sideways that way um, let's see if I can find it here oh I also plugged in a wireless mouse and keyboard on it so that that way I just leave it in the, one of those drawers that I have there so if you go to search and just type in uh, screen actually no not screen right click display settings Uh, let's see, display orientation. I put it on portrait, and then that allows it to be on a sideways TV, and it'll look straight. It's hard to do that when it's already sideways, so maybe do it before you mount your TV sideways or do it on another TV. So once you got everything going, what I actually use is a screensaver, and I put a shortcut from the screensaver to the desktop so I can activate it whenever I want. So if you launch the screensaver, there's the digital movie posters. I just uh, go to the screensaver settings, I'll show you how in a second, and I'll select a folder, and anything in that folder will be used as a screensaver. And this one will play straight through. A few times I've seen it repeat things, but for the most part it plays straight through. Um, as far as pictures go, the uh, I like to choose, see, because it's a TV 16 by 9 posters aren't that size, you're going to end up with bars on the top or the bottom, which if you have an OLED screen, it's going to be okay when the lights are off. If you don't have an OLED, it might show worse. So um, your other option is to stretch it, but then it would look weird. Or you zoom in, but then you're cutting off the sides. So I just deal with it. What I try to do best is find posters that have a natural top and bottom that blend in uh, black so that you can't, you don't notice it. I'll see if I could uh, show you. The Avatar poster did that pretty good. So the bottom and top are black, so it just blends in. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look weird. So I try my best to find posters like that. Uh, as far as posters go, once you're connected to the internet, I go to... I put a shortcut on my desktop. 
themoviedatabase.com. I believe it's .com. Let's see. The movie db.org oh man that's not gonna work sorry gotta get the internet going let me pause all right sorry about that I had to reconnect the Wi-Fi uh, this PC just so you guys know in case someone breaks in and steals it I didn't log into anything there's nothing personal on it um, I don't even have a lock code for it, so I just left no accounts on it. All I use it for is for these posters. Um, but anyway, so the moviedb.org is a great place to find posters. You type in uh, a name. Let's just see. Uh, let's just try the mummy. And the search. Hit search. And then you'll have a list of movies or shows or whatever. So we'll go to the original Mummy. And then what you do is you go over to media at the top right here. And you go to posters. And then you'll see a bunch of different posters. Uh, what works best, I notice, is high resolution stuff like 2000 by 3000. Um, if you want to see how good it looks, just click on it and it'll open up bigger. And if you like it, what you do is right click, uh, where is it? Save image as. And then you save it in the folder that you designate, which is a folder that I put on the desk on the desktop. Movie posters. So once you have your folder loaded up, you can search for screen saver. Change screen saver. on that so then when it goes to screensaver you go to settings you go to uh, photos so I ch checked photos and then um, I put the wait time you can put it on like one minute but that's annoying when you're trying to mess with the computer so I set it as high as it'll go and then I just force it by the shortcut on the desktop. So then I see you go to settings, use pictures from, and then you hit browse and you navigate the, um, the photos. Oh, the other thing with the Chromecast is it would kind of cycle through pretty fast. I couldn't control that speed, but here you can control the speed and go show slow and shuffle. So once you've, Installed your PC stick, you've downloaded your images onto a folder, you've changed the screensaver, you've put, uh, um, you shows your screensaver as the folder, then you just go ahead and launch it and enjoy the view. Uh, just as a side note for any of you guys who might have the uh, same, because I have an LG TV in the living room, and that's an LG TV as well. The same remote's gonna control both. So what I did was I put a smart plug. I don't know if you can see it from the back. Yeah, I mounted a smart plug. I ran a cord up, smart plug for the TV, named it, named the plug poster, so I can tell the assistant to turn on the poster. TV power is on, and that way I don't mess with that TV. The only problem with that is LGs have, I forget what it's called, but they have a feature that allows you to, um, if it's off but has power, it'll go through this process so it prevents uh, pixel burn or screen burn. I didn't want to disable that, especially since I'm repeating posters. So I have a schedule for that plug to turn on every once a week or something like that. So I have to keep that in mind. But yeah, that's uh, a somewhat easier way of doing a digital movie poster without special software 
just regular stuff you can get a hold of. You just have to buy that PC stick. I bought mine off of OfferUp, pretty used, but they sell them on Amazon brand new. So there you go.